Do not send Oladipo there could be likened to Biblical Daniel, who was thrown into the lion's den and came out unharmed. Was still, it could be compared to Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the three Hebrews brothers, who at fierce indignation of the king were thrown into a burning fire and could still come out unarmed into a cauldron of oil whose body could not be burnt by the hot oil but had remained fresher. Donaldson Oladipodia's experience at the apex of his military career was controversially challenging. It was controversially challenging as the stormy rain that held stones on the crops. What would you now say of a general who had once been given a death penalty and had swallowed up death in victory and survived as a living legend? Celebrating the birthday would mean so much to a fellow because it is the survival of life. The general's birthday celebration at 73 was fantastic. The event was so colorful and exciting that hardly would anyone not remember every bit of the occasion. At 73, the general still looks handsome, unique and bursting with life right from his bed. He was destined to be a general. Donatin Oladipo Dia was born on the 3rd of April 1944 at Odogbolu Ogun State in the western region of Nigeria. Oladipo grew up under strict discipline and tender care of his loving parents who took proper care of him. He grew up as a very intelligent child, yet with prodigy of wisdom and a child who was everyone's delight. His handsomeness as a little boy had endeared and attracted much attention of everyone in the neighborhood towards him, coupled with his good sense of humor, with his daring, adoring smiles. Oladipo had his primary education at the Methodist Primary School, Lagos. There were years of remarkable childhood experience. Growing up as a Methodist school boy was particularly exciting to him, and it was during this period he had lost the ambition of great patriotism of the nation, as his desire to become a soldier. As he grew older, his destiny became clearer in his imaginative eye. When it was time to proceed to high school, Oladipo chose to go to Odog Bolu Grammar School. After completing his high school, he proceeded to Nigerian Defense Academy, Cardinal. He became the General Officer Commanding 82 Divisions, Nigeria Army, in 1985. General Oladipo Dia was Commandant National War College, 1991 to 1993, and then was appointed as Chief of Defense Staff in 1993 and Vice Chairman of Provincial Ruling Council in 1994. Though a failed attempt, the coup plot of 1997 was perhaps the most controversial coup plot in the Nigeria's history. The death sentence was later commuted and erased by the head of state, Abdul Salami Abubakar, who succeeded Abacha. Diaz escaped from death and his freedom for his life calls for celebration at all time. At 73, it is a celebration of survival of a life that is secured, protected under the divine grace. Uh, if you remember, he escaped Abacha's nose. You remember that? Secondly, there was a bomb explosion here. He almost took him off and he did not die. You will not die young. The extreme happiness tears the party apart as the clergy who presided the sermon profusely showered a rain of blessing of sound health and longevity to the beloved retired General Oladipo Dia to live long and celebrate more in life. The Issues magazine reports that the birthday of General Dia got deserved glitz, color, and razzmatazz with the support and contribution of his children as well as his atros. Otumba Mrs. Josephine Dia, who simply said, General. General Oladi Podea is a loving and caring husband, a father to his children who always loves his children to be educated by all standards. Otsumba and Mrs. Falasha de Dia also expressed her heartfelt wishes to her spouse, beloved father, the celebrant, describing him as the man whom she wouldn't trade for anything, neither would she leave him for a single minute. He is a man she always takes pride in. 
also speaking with her correspondent, one of the celebrant sons, Babatunde Deer, described General Oladipo Deer as an intelligent man with a good character, a father in all ramifications, just as he wished in many more years of happiness. Uh, my dad is still going very strong, still very intelligent, very aware of himself, and he's still a pillar of support to the whole family. Joy and longevity to the General Oladipo Deer.